Hello and welcome. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion for Saturday, July the 24th. Today we are reading from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 11 through 18. Here's the word of the Lord. Therefore, remember what formerly you who are Gentiles by birth and called uncircumcised by them who call themselves the circumcision which is done in the body by human hands. Remember that at that time you were separate from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel and foreigners to the covenants of the promise, without hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. By setting aside in his flesh the law with, his com with its commands and regulations, his purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two, thus making peace, and in one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross by which he put to death their hostility. He came and preached peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled Making Peace by Albert Hung. We live in an increasingly polarized world. Jesus warned that a day would come when things would get bad for the human race. Nations would rise against nations. The earth would be plunged into war, famine, and disasters. Believers would experience persecution and suffering. Even families would be divided against one another. In the past year, we have experienced a severe global health crisis, economic recession, and political and racial tension. How are the people of God to respond in such a climate? Jesus said that those who are peacemakers will be blessed. They will be called children of God. From Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, in the Sermon on the Mount. Peace is not something that happens on its own. Peace is something that we make. Jesus made peace by reconciling us to God and one another through the cross and resurrection. He laid down his life to create a new humanity out of the divided peoples of the world. In the same way, we are, join, we are to join in the ministry of reconciliation by dying to ourselves and laying down our rights for the sakes of others. As we invite people into inclusion into God's family and citizenships in God's kingdom, we participate in the redemptive work of Christ. The hymn is May the, Mo May the Mind of Christ My Savior by Kate B. Wilkinson. May the love of Jesus fill me as the waters fill the sea. Him exalting, self-abasing, this is victory. From the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 18, we read, If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. And this is your daily devotion for Saturday, July the 28th. May you have a blessed day, and may you live in peace.